Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, January 13th to the 14th, Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aquas, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This one will not resonate with you all, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can also be found in the description box below. Please don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Uh, but first, um, I'm going to get a channeled message from Spirit. But first, there's Tarot. Looky, looky here. Ten of Cups. The Empress. Oh, wait a minute. The Knight of Wands. And the Five of Swords. Very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius, so let's see what's going on for you. What does Spirit have to say? This longing, Aquarius, that you're feeling, some of you, this longing for love, whether this be a specific person or love itself. Understand this is a feeling of lack. You feel as if something is missing, that this love is missing, this person. It's not. This love is within you. Love thyself and love will come. Change your perspective on this longing. Instead of longing, be love. Be that which you desire. And it will be so. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay, Aquarius. Hmm, that's why, it, that's interesting. Be, well, when I was shuffling before I turned on the camera, I was getting like this sigh. They kept, they're showing me somebody who's like, ah, like sighing. That longingness. So, all right, let's see what's going on. Well, you have happiness coming towards you. This is um, the Empress, Taurus or Libra energy. Doesn't have to be. The Empress is the queen of all queens, right? This is emotional fulfillment. So if this is coming towards you, then this is telling me that you will begin to be love. But what is, ah. Okay, Aquarius. I feel like once you have this love, shouldn't say have, experience this love, you're gonna have others on the outside trying to intervene. That's what I'm seeing here. They're trying to, I mean, literally, it's in between this, and that's what I'm feeling. 
jealousy, anger. And this is friends, frenemies, right? So let's clarify Aquarius. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. This could be somebody from the past, but it's also a past life soulmate. So it could be somebody new. Um, but again, past life soulmate. Six of Swords. They could be at a distance. Um, I just heard peaceful presence. So this person could be very much at peace. And you find a lot of peace with them. Two of Swords. Clarify this Two of Swords. Uh, Ace of Wands. Okay. Don't, uh, I just heard, don't hold yourself back by overthinking this scenario. Okay. Because you can, it's almost, you can self-sabotage by overthinking. Who is this Empress? Eight of Swords. Uh, talk about overthinking. Eight of Wands. Yeah, distance is here. Death. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Ooh, okay, the, the Hangman. For some of you, this is somebody from the past and... This empress is all up in their head about you. And this is why you have the two of swords. So it's like you're you're doing the same thing but differently. For others of you, if this is new, it's them being up in their head about love itself. Feeling stuck. Wanting to experience a different type of love. Um, due to a past love that that ended they don't want to experience that same thing clarify this death yeah see eight of cups again two different scenarios here it's somebody that either walked away from you you walked away from them that would explain the longing here um and if this is new then it's again this empress wanting to experience a different type of love not wanting to go backwards here Wanting to go forwards. Yeah, 888. This could be a twin. All right, so who is this friend of me? I mean, like you guys need any more trouble. You already got shit going on in your head. Trying to work this out, right? Knight of Swords. That's air energy. There's a lot of air energy here. What else? King of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or I'm getting businessman here with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Okay, this person could be an air sign because there's air here. Okay, is going to try to create confusion between the two. Confusion. And it's confusion within communication. So you need and they need to listen to their intuition when it comes to this. Why is this King of Pentacles doing this? This is definitely a businessman or woman. Why is this King of Pentacles doing this? Six of Pentacles. That's Libra energy. Three of Cups. Something to do with a third party situation. I feel like this person is angry, first of all. I'm getting that. But second of all, it's like th this... They're doing it because of a third party situation. They do not, if this is from the past, they do not want you guys to reunite. They're holding a grudge. But they're going to disguise themselves as an enemy. Tell me more about this why. 
Three of Wands. I feel like it's because they've been waiting for a love like this, okay? <laughs> you know what song they're giving me? I never knew love like this before. Look up the lyrics. But I feel like this King of Pentacles has been waiting, 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 waiting to experience this type of love, especially if it's a twin flame. Forget about it, right? And they're pissed off that they haven't. I also feel they're holding a grudge against one, against both of you. But they're disguising themselves as a frenemy here. Wow. All right, what about this Knight of Wands? Is this somebody different? Oh, are you kidding me? All right, this is somebody different. So, intruder number two. Could be man or woman again. It's just energy. The hermit could be a Virgo. But this person is a player. This person gets around. Could be male or female. You've got female here. Oh, you know what they're going to try to do? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. The Three of Pentacles. They're, they're going to try to be a third party, first of all. King of Swords. This could be a Libra. They're going to try to interfere. It's almost like these two people, I don't know if they know each other, but it's irrelevant, really. These two people are going to try to interfere, to put ideas in each one of your heads, that there is a third party, but not only that, I'm getting that this person is going to put the idea, they're going to focus on the shadow side of you, the shadow side of this person, and they're going to try to plant a seed so that seed of the shadow will grow and doubt will set in. So you, you better make sure that this relationship is extremely strong and that nobody can come in between. That's the way love should be anyway. So if any of these individuals are able to come in between, then this person is not for you. Twin or no twin. Because that's a lack of loyalty. Okay? Wow. So what is... Um, my gosh. What is uh, your advice, Spirit, for Aquarius? These people are getting me mad. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're getting me pissed off. The world... A cycle needs to end and a new one begins. Okay, so if this is somebody from the past, what I'm getting with this is that needs to be let go so a new one can begin because it cannot be the same as before, which means walls have to drop. The wounded warrior has to go bye-bye. And both of you need to step into your power. So step into your power, know your worth, and strut your stuff and stand up to these shitheads. Sorry, I just had to say that because they're pissing me off. All right. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, the Four of Pentacles. Advice. Yes, realize this is the grudge. They both could be holding a grudge. And I feel it has everything to do with them not being able to experience this love. They don't have it. So they don't want anybody else to have it. Well, specifically you guys to have this for whatever reason. Oh, people, huh? All right. Let's get into animal. Um, oof. I don't like that energy. All right. Advice for Aquarius. Let me get my glasses. Oh, cute chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. So balance the intellect and the intuition. All right. At the bottom. All right. Wait a minute. You also want me to go to the bottom. The goose. 
Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. So make sure you're getting enough rest, Aquarius. Especially if you come together with this person because, you know, a lack of sleep, a lack of, you know, taking care of yourself. Um, it's going to be easier for these people to intervene, interfere. Okay. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, information can be found in the description box below. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Aquarius, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies.